Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be an all signs what you need to know right now reading. We're going to go through each zodiac sign from Aries to Pisces. Um, it will be time stamped. Um, that will be uh, the time stamps will be in the description box below as well as the comment section below. Okay, so please keep in mind that these readings are general. So take what resonates, leave the rest. If it's not your story, do not try to make it fit. I guess roles can be reversed. Definitely check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements in this reading. And, um, you know, to get a more, you know, more well-rounded uh, picture, okay? Um, also, too, let's see. Oh, if you need or want to get a personal reading with me that is tailored specifically to your energy and or your situation, my email is in the description box below as well. Um, there is not going to be an extended to this, obviously, So, but I am going to do two other videos, all sign readings today as well. So one will be um, what's the tea, and then another one I think is regarding love. Um, I think that's it. All right, so I'm going to use some fortune telling cards to start first. And then we'll go, and then I'll go into the tarot for each zodiac sign. So we're going to start with Aries. Oh, I did have one other thing before I even move on. Um, today's Friday, so tomorrow I'm doing personal readings um, from on Saturday, Soulmate Saturday. Um, so it technically be love readings, but I guess you could ask any question that you would like, except I don't answer legal questions and I don't answer questions on. Um, medical or health related stuff because I'm not licensed to give guidance or advice on either one of those topics. Okay. Um, but that will be tomorrow and it's one question for $20 and then it's two questions for 35 and I will link cash up or PayPal in the live chat tomorrow as well. So you can pay. Okay. All right. I think that was it. Yeah. So definitely check out the community tab, um, for when that's going to start. I believe I have it starting at seven. PM Eastern Standard Time and I have it going roughly till about 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time although if there's a lot of people there um, and there's people still wanting questions I will try to do it for as long as I can I may go over that time as well okay all right so I have two minutes and 29 seconds for Aries okay let's see spirit show me what what does Aries need to know right now please what does Aries need to know okay we have fortune Okay, what else does Aries need to know right now? We have the enemy, which would be a masculine energy or masculine enemy. Show me one more. The widower. Okay. We have misfortune at the bottom of the deck. So I'll take that. Okay. So Aries, it looks like to me, you have someone who, who may be single. They may be a widower, but they don't have to be. They could even be like a, you know, a divorce possibly a masculine who is looking to be with somebody because they, they have experienced some type of misfortune, but it looks like they want to be with someone who has money. Okay. So if, let's say, you know, you don't even have to be super wealthy. Let's just say you have a good paying job or you work really hard or you say you have a lot of savings. Be mindful of people who might, I'm also getting, be careful of people who might scam you, um, telling you of their misfortune, of what's going on with them because they want to get towards, want to get their hands on, on your money. Okay, what else? What else does Aries need to know, please, Spirit? Yeah, someone might be trying to get you to take some type of risk financially. Um, they might come to you. Now, I don't know if this has already happened or if this is happening now or coming towards you in the future. Somebody here may be coming towards you with a tale of woe about some type of misfortune. Now, I'm not saying that they haven't had that misfortune, but they're coming towards you because they feel like you not you, but like the, this enemy person, they might try to scam you out of your money because they might want you to take a, un, like a risk financially. What is this dice about? Yeah. Child. Okay. They want you to take a, a dicey risk of a new beginning with them 
based on them telling you some type of, I'm not saying that it isn't a sad story or that they haven't experienced it, but be mindful of people's intentions coming towards you, especially if you have like a good job, a house, a car, you know, things like that, because they might be trying to get something out of you. Yeah, they might even try to marry you for money. I get it. this could be like a scam. Okay, give me one card on that. Give me one card on this, please, for Aries. The situation. They either they're telling you that they were married, now they're now they're a widow, or maybe it's even a divorce, or they're telling you that they're divorced. Um, they're but they're coming to you from some from some place of need, but they're not telling you that. They're not up front. Tell me more about this for Aries. One card. Yeah, we have the Emperor Reverse. That is your card, Aries. So be mindful that you're not doing this to somebody, okay? But with the Emperor Reverse is somebody who's a bit of a tyrant. Um, it could be another Aries or this is you. Um, not to judge you, but... Or a Taurus or a Leo. Somebody who is, doesn't have the best of intentions. Someone who could also abuse their power. I would be careful if you're giving anybody power over you. Over you, Aries. Or if you're listening to somebody coming to you with a tale of woe. Uh, again, I'm not saying that they haven't experienced some type of misfortune. Okay. But it looks like, you know, you have abundance coming in. And that, you know, we kind of need to protect your assets here. Because there's somebody who may try to get with you if it's romantic or friendship. Could even be friendship or family coming toward, you know, coming towards you because they want to get money out of you. Now, if somebody's, if it is romantic, somebody here wants you to take a chance. It could even be an adult child, but if it's romantic, somebody could be coming towards you saying, take a chance on me for a new beginning. Let's get married. But they're not being honest about what it is that they actually want from you. Okay. So I would be careful with that Aries. All right. Let's see. All right. Seven. 23 is what I saw for Taurus. All right. So what does Taurus need to know right now? So this could be obviously love, life, whatever. What does Taurus need to know right now, please? Okay. We have a sweetheart. Okay. That very well could be you. What else does Taurus need to know right now? We have conversation. What else? And then we have fortune for you. Okay. So somebody here sees you. Someone's waiting on you or you could be waiting on someone. Someone sees you or you see someone else as a sweetheart that you want to communicate with. Okay. You feel like fate has brought the two of you together or, you know, fortune favors this type of y'all's connection. Tell me more about this for Taurus. Okay. But I would be careful that there is somebody here who's not being 100% honest about something. There's two women here. We got a woman in reverse with the ace of, with the ace of spades or ace of swords reverse. And then we have the woman or the lady. We have woman and then we have lady. We have lady with the ace of swords in the upright. So this could either be a same sex relationship or this could be somebody having a choice between two. One is not being honest while the other one is. In fact, there could even be three people, three ladies. We have this, we have the, we have sweetheart, we have woman, and then we have the lady. Three ladies here. Somebody here has a massive choice that they need to make about a connection. Who, who do they actually want? But there's a lot of conversation going on. Also, there could be a lot of talks about finances as well. What is this about for Taurus, please? Yeah, Knight of Swords in the reverse. Don't have, don't, you're not wanting to fight with anyone. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. I get this could be like spiteful communication or arguments or like pettiness. So be careful of pettiness. But I get that there's three ladies or three women, three feminine energies now, you know, okay, that are involved in some way somehow, and they are communicating. They will, there will be communication, but there might be need to not fight over something, whether that be finances or connection, or there's three women here 
who might end up being very petty with one another over money. Okay. So be careful of that. Now that could be, you know, three options in love. That could be three friends. That could be, you know, um, you know, three family, female family members. Okay. All right, let's go to Gemini. So keep on the lookout for that. 10, 20, wait, 31 is what I saw for Gemini. All right, Spirit, what is going on for Gemini, please? What is going on for Gemini, please? What is, okay. We have malady. Okay, so that talks about illness. I'm not a doctor. This is not licensed medical advice. What else, please? We also have size. Okay, what else, please, for Gemini? Then we have scholar. Okay. All right. So what I'm getting with this is that somebody here is getting sick and tired of being sick and tired. And is maybe going to a different doctor, going to, um, uh, now for this, for me, could be like a lawyer. This could be a, a, a doctor, a scientist maybe. Somebody here is like really, really, really sick and tired of being sick and tired. Now, if you're not feeling well, please go to the doctor or if it's a partner or a friend, family member, whatever. If they're not feeling well, then they definitely need to go to the doctor. But I also feel like you might need to get a second opinion. Okay. This could even be mental health related. Tell me about this, please. Tell me about this, please. Okay, we have lilies in the reverse. Somebody here isn't being very honest, Gemini, with their partner about how they're actually feeling, uh, whether that's physical or mentally. We also have luck, okay? There needs to be equal give and take here. There needs to be peace between you and somebody else. Somebody could be like arguing with someone. You could be arguing with a partner, a family member, a friend, and it's actually having an effect on your mental health or your physical health. Tell me about this. Yeah, there's not clear, there's no clarity here. There could be some form of deception as well between the two of you. That that is what somebody is maybe... Oh, investigating here or looking into whether getting a second opinion. This could even be like a therapist. This could even be like a lawyer. This is not legal or medical advice, okay? Give me a tarot card on this, please, one. Yeah, there's deception here with the Ace of Swords reverse. Someone is, what is this deception about? One more. Will of Fortune in the reverse. Somebody here is lying about their karma or lying about having things moving forward. What else? Yeah, Queen of Wands in the reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody here is very spiteful. Now, this could be you. This could be somebody else, okay? Um, whether it's romantic, platonic, family, friends, coworkers, whatever. Somebody here is not being honest about things and they're doing something out of spite. Like, somebody here is doing something out of spite to, like, exacts their what they feel somebody's karma should be why yeah the emperor because of the emperor so the emperor here is like the father figure the husband the spouse or boss could be an aries taurus or leo somebody here may want to get back at an emperor you could want to get back at a you know get back at an emperor get revenge on an emperor using lies to do so or there's an emperor here who is presenting themselves as very stable boss daddy whatever right but in reality they're showing up as you know being pretty spiteful and deceptive someone also and this it almost feels like gaslighting i have to be honest it almost feels like someone's being gaslit here This could even be your own father who is asking you to lie for them on your on their behalf to avoid something. 
what are what is this lie hangman reverse that somebody is incredibly selfish somebody has been lying about their whereabouts possibly is what i'm getting to somebody has been lying about gaining different perspectives here Someone is trying to get away with something and maybe you're lying to someone or someone's lying to you in order to get away with something or somebody here, an emperor, a father figure, a husband, a boss, maybe is asking you to lie for them in order to evade some type of punishment or karma. What else? Why? Yeah, because they're married. The emperor is a married person. Now, if this is romantic for you, Gemini, you could be finding out that somebody you were talking to, dealing with, um, you know, conversing with, having some type of relationship with of some kind might actually just, they might actually be married. Okay. And you could be finding that out. Hmm. Okay, let's see, 16, 15 is what I saw for Cancer. All right, Cancer, what do you need to know right now? All right, so what does Cancer need to know right now, please, Spirit? What does Cancer need to know right now, please, Spirit? Okay, you have size yourself, okay? I feel like you're getting tired of waiting on something or someone. Like... You're over it. That's what I'm here. You're over it. What else is cancer? Yeah, okay. The merchant. You're tired of waiting on somebody you feel has sold you a bill of goods. Like, not been honest. Yeah, old woman. Okay, could be... Okay. It feels like here, like, you're telling somebody, I'm not getting any younger here. You know? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm tired of waiting for you to choose me, the merchant. Are you just lying to me and telling me what I want to hear versus what the truth is? You're just saying I'm not getting any younger here. What else, please? Yeah, faithfulness. You want somebody here to be very loyal to you and faithful to you or to choose you? You're telling them I'm not getting any younger. Fox, but you realize this person's just being sneaky. Okay. And it's going to cause a tower moment here. You need to have better boundaries with somebody. It is with a man that's younger than you in any capacity. It doesn't mean that they have to be, you know, 10 years younger. They could just be a few years younger than you. You're realizing that this person is being sneaky, trying to escape or avoid a tower here with you. And you're telling them, okay, so you're telling me that you're going to be faithful to me or faithful to whatever, or you're just, you're waiting, you're getting tired of waiting on somebody to make a decision to choose you, right? But they could be selling you a bill of goods or selling you a story that they think you want to hear. And you're telling them, I'm not getting any younger here. Like what's taking so long? It's almost like they don't want to tell you the truth about something. What else is this about for Cancers, please? One tarot. Let's see. What else is this about? Let me get a good shuffle first, Cancer. You feel like this person is trying to avoid some type of tower. They're trying to escape it. They're, they're trying to escape getting caught doing something sneaky. What else is this about, please? Yeah, okay. All right, so we have the Empress Reverse and the Ten of Cups in the upright. Now, the Empress Reverse is, you know, could be, you know, a Taurus, a Libra, maybe even a Cancer because it's the mother archetype, right, in the Ten of Cups. Um, you want somebody to leave a family dynamic or a marriage to come choose you. You're telling them, okay, you're telling me you're going to choose me. You're telling me you're picking me. I'm waiting, but is this really just... A, you're just telling me what I what you think I want to hear and not actually choosing me. I'm not getting any younger here. I'm not getting any younger here. Like, are you going to leave that marriage and choose me? 
Yeah. You want them to leave something from the past behind and choose you. Will they? Will they choose cancer? They're still at a crop. They're still at a crossroads here. Will they choose cancer? They don't want the drama. Five of wands in the reverse. One more. What will they choose cancer? Magician reverse. No, they were manipulating you. They were manipulating you. Why? Yeah, Queen of Pentacles reverse. And this is making you very, very upset and angry. Maybe even a little jealous. But they were manipulating you in this scenario. Because you want them to leave somebody from the past behind and come towards you and choose you. But they're not doing it. So you're right. They were manipulating you. Okay. All right, 2102 for Leo. Let's see. Let me get a good shuffle. Let's see. Spirit, what does Leo need to know right now? What does Leo need to know right now, please, Spirit? You have the female enemy, the foe, female foe. Okay, what else, please, does Leo need to know? Okay, it's a surprise. Okay. Okay, you have joyfulness in the reverse, though. So, with the female foe, surprise, and joyfulness in reverse. Either somebody is finding out, Leo, that you're actually a hidden enemy, and it's going to make them very, it's going to, it's going to surpri surprise them, it's going to shock them, make them very unhappy to find out that you're actually not a true friend or partner. Wait, I can't. There we go. Okay. Or, Leo, you're finding this out about somebody. Tell me more. What else does Leo need to know? Yeah, there's news coming in. Somebody could be finding out, Leo, that you actually are a female foe. And you're you're taking information. And you're, you're telling somebody else about this information. It's going to really surprise somebody. That you're actually not a true friend or true partner here. What is this surprise about? Yeah, man. It's going to shock somebody here. Could be a man. Yeah. Dice with the joyfulness in reverse. We have the dice and the woman. Somebody here took a chance on you as a friend or maybe even a partnership. And they're about to find out that you're actually not uh, as genuine as you claim to be. And that you're taking information and you're taking information that's given to you and, and taking it elsewhere to tell somebody else something. Because you see, somebody here is rolling the dice to give somebody some type of information. See how she has like this thing in her hand? Yeah, it's really going to make, it's going to be a, a so sh it's going to be a shock to somebody to find this out about you. Or you're going to be very shocked to find this out about someone. Let me get a tarot card. What is this about for Leo, please? Tell me more. Mm -hmm. Justice is here. So karma is here. Uh, and the Ace of Cups. Somebody here is going to get some type of karma or justice here for having a new romantic partner. Either you have a new romantic partner and you're the female enemy towards a partnership romantic or a friendship or your person is going to get karma for having some type of new love offer here what is this yeah temperance reverse it's not balanced it's very, going to be very disruptive energy that's coming yeah because of secrets this is somebody who listens to their intuition this is also somebody who uh, knows something but doesn't speak on it. This is like she who knows. Could also be a psychic or a medium that knows the truth. Somebody here see, is seeing things from a different perspective. Because of it. Yeah, somebody is also being very smug and arrogant about getting their wish fulfillment here. They could feel that way about you or you feel that way about them. 
You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Strong Cancer, Strong Pisces, Libra. Okay. All right. Let's see. One second. All right, I just saw 25.25 for Virgo. All right, Virgo, what do you need to know? Spirit, what does Virgo need to know, please? Right now, what does Virgo need to know right now? Okay, you also have surprise and letter. You're about to receive some surprising and or shocking communication from someone that may maybe they're in the military maybe they're in the service you might receive some type of shocking news about somebody who's in the military or you're going to receive some type of surprising shocking information letter communication that may cause a fight it's over a gift what is this about please yeah could be a gift of money or this was something that was fated to happen. You may, it's going to be surprising to you to receive some type of communication and or gift or the communication is the gift and it was fated to happen, but it will cause some type of fight. It's like a weighted confirmation or weighted news arrives, but it's going to cause a fight because it's going to be, it's going to be something you didn't expect. Okay, what else is this about, please, for Virgo? Yeah, it was something that was hidden from you, the moon. Someone is secretly planning on possibly walking away from a situation or a connection. Yeah, somebody here, there's with a letter here and the seven of swords. Somebody here is lying about some type of secrets here. What is the lying about? The, uh, they're wearing a mask. So you're being you're being straight up lied to, and when you receive this communication, you're gonna realize what this person was hiding. It's gonna be surprising to you. Tell me more about this for Virgo, please. Yeah, strength card in the reverse could be done with the Leo. This person doesn't have to be a Leo, but this person lacks the strength and courage to come and tell you the truth. So I feel like somebody else is going to do it for them. What is this about? What is this deception about? Okay, that's too many cards. Less cards. What is this deception about for Virgo? Okay, King of Cups reverse. Could be from a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody here who you're realizing that somebody wasn't... You're receiving some form of communication, whether that's an email, a letter, a text message, a DM something you're going to realize that somebody here has been keeping something from you and been lying to you and keeping a lot of deception lies and manipulation hidden okay they have not had the courage or the strength to tell you the truth that they have been emotionally manipulating you it's going to surprise you and it's going to cause a massive fight tell me more yep it's bad news but at the same time, it's kind of like a gift. Because at least you know what's been going on. Yeah. You know what's been, there's been a lover. There's been another lover. There's been a choice. That you may not have realized. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo. Maybe involved in some way somehow. But it doesn't have to be those signs, okay? All right, I have to use the restroom real quick. I'm going to pause this and I will be right back. I'm back. All right, but real quick before I move on to, Lib to Libra, Virgo, you're about to have your suspicions confirmed. That's what I also heard. All right, so Libra, 29, 24 is what I saw. All right, let's see. Spirit, what does Libra need to know right now? What does Libra need to know right now? Spirit, what does Libra need... What does Libra need to know right now, please? Okay. You have sweetheart. Okay. Servant. Okay. 
Ooh, and misfortune. Okay. With the sweetheart here, it's like you think everything is hunky-dory, but there's some type of communication that comes in. You see that she's holding like this letter, right? Right? Or it doesn't have to be a letter. It could be an e it could be any form of any form of communication that comes in. And you're gonna realize that what you've what serves you no longer serves you. It's, it's really mis it's, it's like a misfortune here. It's like there's some type of disgrace here. Okay. What else? Let me get a good shuffle. Give me three cards. Please. Sweetheart, servant, misfortune. This for Libra, please. You're realizing that you communicating with anybody, um, friends. I get this more so to be friends, a female friend. It's not really serving you. Show me these three cards, please. Why is sweetheart here? Yeah, birds. Okay, C communication. Somebody that you've been communicating with, maybe going around telling people what you've said to them. You got a gossiper here. Okay, what is this servant about? Bear, it's a burden. And this person, whatever they're talking about, okay, is like, someone thinks that you, you're like gullible, is what I heard, but you're really intelligent. Um, it's really much of an, you communicating with a friend or a family member or somebody like that. They go around when, at any time you tell this person, you think this person is a sweetheart, but anything that you say to this person, they spread around. And it's, they abuse their power here and create a lot of unnecessary burdens. Why is misfortune here? Yeah, lies. The letter. It's misfortune. Somebody here goes around and like takes what you've said to them in private, twists it to fit their narrative, and then goes around and gossips about you. Got Libra, someone's gossiping really, really badly about you. And it's a fake friend. Let me get one. Show me this fake friend. They will expose themselves to you. Tell me more about this fake friend. Uh, causing chaos and fights in your love connections. That's what they're trying to do. One more about this fake friend for Libra. Hating on your psychic abilities and gifts. It's you got, you got a hater who's also a fake friend. Give me tarot on this. Tell me more about this, please, for Libra. Okay, cut. All right. Take from the top. Who is this person? They will expose themselves. It could be a fire sign female, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They could be very attractive. They could even maybe be magical. Yep, the sun. There is, yeah. But anytime you tell this person anything, um, Libra, they literally go and tell everybody everything. What else? Yep, and then... I feel like you're going to end up walking away from this person because they make bad decisions and choices here. Yeah. You want the truth from this person. You want absolute clarity here. Yep. You're walking away from any illusions that this person spends because literally anything you tell this person, and I feel like it's a female friend, but it could obviously be masculine because you know, we all have feminine and masculine energy within us, but anything you tell this person they literally take it, twist it to fit their narrative, and then they go around and gossip. Yep. Could be also in the workplace. They do not care. Mm -mm. Yep, lovers reverse. This could be also a scorned lover. Um, not of maybe not your lover, but somebody that you know's lover that is going around talking crap about you and your situation it's not even true you okay that's interesting libra you might actually intentionally tell this person something so crazy so wild and off the wall just to see if it gets out there you might tell them like something that's you know is absolutely not true just to see it's so wild so outlandish and you know it's not true. It's like deception. It's like you're using deception to catch deception. 
you're testing people around you basically like okay i'm like the game of telephone right you tell somebody oh i'm gonna tell you something that's wild and you tell them but really it's nothing it's not even true and you see if it leaves this person and goes to somebody else and if it makes it back to you and if it does then you know it came from that person and you know for a fact you cannot trust that person Yep, that's what it feels like. Could be done with the Gemini, uh, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Strong Cancer Pisces, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus. Very strong Leo here. Very, very, very strong Leo here. Something's coming to light about a female fire sign. Okay. All right, next we're going to see 35, 52 is what I saw for Scorpio. All right, one second, Scorpio. All right. Spirit, what does, hold on, what? Say that again, Spirit? Okay, they want me to pick some from here first, okay? What does Scorpio need to know right now, Spirit? What does Scorpio need to know right now? Okay. Um, we have the bow and it says, um, you are highly thought of. We also have tulip, great passion. Somebody here thinks very, very highly of you and has great passion towards you. What else please does Scorpio need to know right now? Skull, hidden secrets can harm you. There's something hidden from you, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. so, someone who thinks very highly of you, because you see how her... You see the bow of the back of her head? Somebody's hiding a secret, great passion for something or someone. Secrets can't harm you. What is this bow about highly thought of? What is that about for Scorpio? Yeah, reunion and Lord. Okay. You have somebody who thinks of you, high, who highly thinks of you or thinks of you highly, who wants to have a reunion with you, but they're also very arrogant. Very, very, air, like they feel entitled to having a reunion with you. What is this tulip about? Because what is this great passion about? Doctor in Constellation. Somebody here who has great passion for you might be talking to a therapist about their passion for you. Or I'm also hearing obsession about someone's got someone who is very entitled. They think highly of you though. But they're very entitled, very arrogant, and they they feel entitled to having a reunion with you. They may be going to talk to a therapist or a doctor about their uh, great passion or obsession with you. Scorpio, somebody's got an obsession with you. Because they also could be consulting the divine. They could also be getting readings on you as well. What is this hidden secrets can harm you for Scorpio? What is this? What are these secrets? Okay. Okay. Someone could be lying to you, stealing from you, or cheating on you that you don't know about it. Tell me more about these secrets that can harm you. Yeah, it's also making you very, very... Someone's like the thief of joy. Someone is like cheating on you, lying to you. There's secrets that are hidden from you. Um, and it's causing you to feel really sad or depressed. Or someone's lying. Oh, someone here who has cheated on you with a thief here, lied, stole, cheated on you, may also be lying to you about them being depressed. If someone's told you recently, within like the last four or five months, that, they, that they're that they actually depressed, they didn't tell you the truth about why they're depressed. They told you a different reason. Yeah, they're depressed because they're waiting on something or someone. Or they know somebody's waiting on them. Widower. Someone is waiting on someone to become a widower. So you got secrets that can harm you. Meanwhile, there's somebody else waiting for somebody to become a widower. And there's like some type of celebration about that or coming together with three people and tr moving towards that. This can also talk about a third party coming towards the situation or is involved some way somehow. You're going to receive a, this is also like you're about to receive some type of news or communication that may shock you, revealing the truth of the secrets. Okay, that's crazy. Okay. 
Someone's obsessed with you, though. Tell me more about the secrets. Tell me more. Yeah, time and house. Secrets. Tell me more about the secrets. And we got time in the house. Somebody here is not being honest with you and keeping secrets from you about their time management and whose house they have been at or to. Tell me more. Someone also isn't being honest with you about finances regarding a house. Also the key to a house. Somebody may have a key to the house that you don't know about and they're doing something. They're abusing their power going into your house while you're not there. Tell me more about this secret. Tell me more about the secret from this hidden from Scorpio. Yeah, there's somebody that you no longer communicate with. They've abused their power. They have a key to your house. And they, they go into your house when you're not there. I don't know how they got the key to the, your house. Could be an ex-lover, ex-partner, ex-spouse, ex-friend, ex-family member. But somebody here is going into the house. Time, house, key. And that's the secret. Part of the secret. Abuse of power. Someone also may not be telling you the truth about the sale of a house. It's abusing power. Then I have the moon card here. Someone may be going into coming into your house late at night. And it's a secret. But that's about to be revealed. But you already know it. You or at least you suspect that someone is coming into your house when you're not home or late at night. They were given a key. Also, someone's not being honest about how their time, like their schedule, where their, their whereabouts, and whose house they've been at. How much time they've spent at someone's house. Or they are not being, yeah, they're not honest about how, how long they've spent at someone's house. They're not honest about what they're doing at someone's house either. There's a tower that's coming because of it. What is this tower? Yeah, we have compass here about choosing a new direction. Or you're being guided towards the truth. Either way, you're being guided. Show me, give me a, ta a tarot on this. Okay, no. Let me get a shuffle. Interesting. That's a weird message. Weird. Okay. You have might, you might, you might have told your doctor the truth about what's been going on with you or in this weird, this is a weird situation. You might have told your doctor something and they are literally taking down people's names, addresses, phone numbers just in case something was to happen. I don't know what that's about, but okay. Um, tarot messages about these secrets that can harm Scorpio. Yeah, Nine of Cups. About why some... This is someone who's very smug, who's a little overly confident or entitled to your wishes. Somebody here feels entitled to your wishes. Okay. Yeah, it's over a decision that has been already been made to not change something or to not end something. You're about to get the truth about something. Yeah, here you are. You're being you're being guided here to not say anything to anyone about this except maybe a professional about this. Someone that can help you. Yeah, don't fight with somebody. This almost feels like a plot. Yeah, someone plans on betraying you in the worst possible way. With the Five of Swords reverse and the Ten of Swords reverse, this also feels like some type of, not to scare anybody, but it kind of feels like a shocking physical attack. It doesn't 
it may harm you, but it doesn't like, you know, you know, like unalive you. What is this about? Yeah, somebody here, it's not someone you, you're related to. Could be an ex-friend, could be a friend, could be, you know, a lover. Somebody here doesn't want you to be in a connection. They want you to feel rejected. They also don't want you to receive offers here or finances. Someone also could be hiding money with family members in order to, so you don't know about it. Could be this emperor reverse. They're doing it out of ego, um, abuse of power. And somebody's doing something out of need, the need to control. But here's the deal. Somebody here is about to get caught red-handed, not being able to sneak away and get away with something. Their manipulation. Something, something major is coming to light, Scorpio. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's major. You could be done with a Gemini, Virgo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, Aries, Taurus, Leo, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, another Scorpio, a Cancer, Pisces, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But something pretty major is coming up or coming to light or being revealed very, very soon. It's, just, it's a big deal. Okay, I see why they wanted to use those cards. Interesting. Okay. Oh, stay safe, Scorpio. Okay. All right. Next is Sagittarius 4633. Let me get a sip of my drink real quick. Okay. Puff my vape. All right. Spirit, just tell me about Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know right now? What does Sagittarius need to know right now, please, Spirit? What does Sagittarius need to know right now, please, Spirit? You also have size, okay? You, you're kind of over something. You're over it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't like that. This is a message that may not apply to a lot of you. If, if you've lost a child, and I'm not saying, this is something that I'm not predicting it. What I'm saying is you, this would have already happened. Okay. That means you already know that it happened. This, I'm not predicting that this is going to happen. I'm saying that this has already happened. Okay. You're struggling with the grief process and you have my deepest condolences. Okay. You're struggling with that. For others of you, it has nothing to do with that. This is the end of a new you're you are tired of waiting on getting a new beginning you're ready to end it you're ready to end the connection tell me more yep sweetheart you're you're ready to just end the connection with with somebody or somebody with you yeah i'm i'm asking you to not be naive here okay you need to be consistent with something what is this about for sagittarius someone's lying to you And if you're a masculine Sagittarius, you got somebody who is lying to you about a pregnancy. They're asking you to not be naive about it. If you're a feminine Sagittarius, you don't, you want to end a, a relationship. Or if you're a masculine Sagittarius, somebody wants to end the relationship with you. What else is this about? What's this false sense about? Someone is not as nice or sweet as they claim to be. They're a liar. They're a liar. Sagittarius you're figuring out you could have a relationship with somebody male or female doesn't matter and you're realizing that they're not really a sweetheart they're actually a, perf a, a prolific prolific that's what I just heard liar okay yep they're wearing a mask what's tell me more about this for Sagittarius please could be a masculine that's wearing a mask they're not as kind or sweet as you what you, they say they are. They also have a lot of other options that they are trying to invest in, possibly. there's They are very much a massive gossiper, and they're lying about gossiping. What is this about? Someone's also gossiping about finances or offers here, and they're not being honest about it. They're lying. All right, let's see. What is this about? Tell me more about this for Sagittarius, please. What is this deception about and the mask and the communication? 
Someone's hiding that the fact that they're communicating with somebody about finances. It's a could be a woman or a man, whatever. But there's if you're okay. So if you're a masculine Sagittarius, your sweetheart is lying to you. They're hiding something behind a mask, and it could be the fact that they're communicating with another masculine that they want to take an offer from. Now, for others of you. You're the sweetheart and you're being lied to by a mask and he's wearing a mask. They're asking you not, don't be frivolous right now. Don't be naive. I'm not saying you are. Okay. We have Leo here, nine of cups in reverse. There could be somebody who's trying to hold back your wish fulfillment here or hold back pouring into your cup. Or they're, they're holding back the truth about their overindulgence in something. Whether that's, you know, alcohol, drugs, sex. They're holding back something. The truth about something. And you're catching them in a lie. You, when you confront them about this, they're going to have their guard up. They're going to feel stabbed in the back by you. They're going to feel like you're going to betray them. Ten of Cups. Mm. This person could be married. This could be a friend. They have a choice to make. I feel like you're given this friend. If Okay, if it's not your person, romantic partner, if it's not, whether it's a male or female, if it's not your person, Sagittarius, it is a friend who could be, maybe it's a best friend. And you're telling, they could be a Leo. And you're telling them, don't indulge in this. What are you indulging in? You're betraying somebody. What are you doing? They're, when you uh, confront them about this, they are really going to have their guard up. They're going to feel embarrassed. You're going to tell them, either you're going to tell your spouse or your partner, whomever, the truth, or I'm going to tell them for you. Make a decision. What is this about? Yep. You're going to tell them the tower. Either, yep. I don't feel like this is so much about you. I feel like this is either your partner doing this or this is like a friend like a best friend of yours who you're catching lying who you've caught in some type of indulgent of betrayal towards their who might be married and you're telling them either you're going to tell your partner or your spouse your wife or your husband the truth or i'm going to they are going to be very 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 guarded yeah, because there's a tower coming because of the truth. Truth coming to light that causes a tower. I feel like you, unfortunately, are the one who's bringing the tower. Yeah, because this person doesn't doesn't want to tell the truth. You're catching somebody, either it's your partner, your your partner, your spouse, whatever, in a lie, a pretty big one. And they've portrayed you or you're catching your best friend in a lie. You're finding out the truth about this best friend of yours and you're telling them, okay, either you're going to tell your partner or your wife or your husband the truth or I'm going to do it for you. Okay. All right. I have to move on. Let's see. You could be dealing with uh, Leo very strongly. Aries, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, very strongly here. Okay. All right. All right, let's see. Capricorn, 5410 is what I saw. All right, Capricorn, let's see what's going on for you. So what's going on for Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know right now? What does Capricorn need to know right now? The lover, okay. You got a lover here, okay. What else does Capricorn need to know right now? Letter. What does Capricorn need to know right now? Reunion. Okay, so Capricorn, you have a lover here who wants to communicate with you and they want to reunite with you. They want to come, they want a reconciliation. 
Capricorn, you have a male or female lover, whatever, they want to reconcile with you. They want to communicate and they want to come back together with you. They miss you is what I just heard. They want to um, have a reconciliation. What else, please? Does Capricorn need to know right now, please? What else does Capricorn need to know right now? Okay. Yeah, they look at you as very lucky. They want to give to you equally. They want to have a home with you. They want to build a life with you. They want to have, have your children or you you have their children, whatever. Okay, with the with the four leaf clover and the storks there, they want to build a home with you. Yeah, but you feel like they're they're very they're very defensive because they're not being honest with you. They're hiding something from you, and everything needs to be revealed to you before you can have that with them. What? Tell me more about this for Capricorn, please. Before you can have that that reconciliation, they need to come clean about some stuff and not be defensive. Also, somebody might be finding out that they're pregnant. You or somebody else. All right. What else, please? Yeah, someone could be married or could be family getting in the way. There's an injustice here. Somebody is, it was supposed to be wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment here, but there's been an injustice here. Somebody could receive him karma. Yep, there's third party here. Somebody was betrayed. Someone betrayed you or... Someone's finding out that you betrayed them. There is a third party here. It is it is the romantic kind. And somebody here could either be getting married or is already married. And somebody has, there's very dishonest. Someone's lied. Someone has either, it's in your connection or somebody else's that you know's connection. Someone has created a massive injustice with lying and deception. And they create a lot of heartache here. Um, someone could also be getting their karma for this. Um, there was a third party here. There's heartbreak and betrayal here. Why? Yep. Ten of swords. Someone definitely got betrayed. Yep. Overindulged in something. What? The Empress. Somebody here could be finding out that they're pregnant by somebody, another man. Or someone could be finding out that if you're a masculine Capricorn, that you got somebody else pregnant. And they're going to be heartbroken. Or there, you could be a mother a matriarch Capricorn and you're finding out that one of your kids it has deeply betrayed somebody that they are either have a family with engaged to and or married to and it's breaking your heart yeah somebody's been let go of or has been in order to create healing and balance someone is still holding back though Someone needs to have great strength to be able to heal this. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Sagittarius, another Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Libra strongly, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. All right. All right. Let's see. Aquarius 5811 is what I saw. Okay, let's see. All right, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for you. Spirit, what does Aquarius need to know right now? Spirit, what does Aquarius need to know right now? What does Aquarius need to know right now, please, Spirit? What does Aquarius need to know right now? Consistency. This is like the universe, like the world card. Something is consistent or needs to be. What does Aquarius need to know right now, enemy? Okay. What does Aquarius need to know right now? Surprise. Okay. Mm. All right. They told me to take them take from the bottom. So you have someone here is consistent. Someone is consistently being a sneak and an enemy behind your back, and you're about to find out, and that's going to surprise you. Because what you find out is that somebody here is a pleasure seeker and a lover boy or a lover girl with somebody else, with multiple people, and they are they're like pimping tenderness to everybody. They are talking, having conversations that are of a romantic nature with any with with somebody else, and having pleasure with that person, with a lover. You're realizing that, like basically, Aquarius, you've been sleeping with the enemy. Wow. Or they're realizing this about you. 
All right, what else is Aquarius needed now, please? It's a man who's doing this. Businessman. Yep. Well, and then the writer. You're realizing how deep their portrayal actually goes. You're receiving news or communication about this. Possibly from a man, but about a man. It's coming to your home. Somebody's coming to your home to tell you the truth. Yep. There, there's another man. There's a man who, right, wishes to tell you the truth. Who's coming to your home to tell you the truth about your person. Or this is a same-sex relationship. Yeah, blockages. Why there's been blockages in movement communication. Someone has been abusive. Someone has been abusive in their... The why somebody was abusive in the way that they were communicating with you. Someone was abusive... Like, they were abusive in their communication with you. And you're about to find out why. Somebody... There is a man who is literally catching some another man, maybe a friend, a brother, a family member, or a business partner at somebody's house that they shouldn't be. Yep, and they're telling them, you're going to go and tell the truth with the garden here. You're going to go tell the truth. You're abusing your power. You need to go tell the truth. From blocking the flow of information, you're not being honest. Yep, you've been a liar. And all of that lies are going to be exposed here. You, There's a man here. Who is going to another man, whether it's a brother, again, whether it could be a brother, a best friend, a family member, a business partner, saying, I have caught you in what you're doing. You're lying to your person or your partner or your spouse. We are going to go to your house and we're going to tell them or I'm going to go there and I'm going to tell them the truth. But either way, they're going to hear the truth. Yeah. Yep. Or this is a same-sex relationship and somebody here is realizing that somebody was not lying. Somebody here is realizing that someone's not being honest, okay? Let me get the tarot on this. <clears throat> Let's, see. Let's see. All right. Let me get one more shuffle. Tell me more about this, please, for Aquarius. What is this about? Tell me more about this, please. Yeah, someone's being betrayed. Ten of Swords. Big time. Someone is being betrayed. Yep. And somebody's going to want to come out of the cold. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. Somebody here is saying to somebody else, you're married. Or you're in a long-term commitment or marriage or whatever, right? You need to go tell your partner the truth. Drop the other option. You need to go tell them the truth that you have been betraying them. You need to go home and tell them the truth. If you don't, I will. Or we, I can go with you, but you will tell them the truth. Yeah, it's a heavy burden. Got three tens here. Something's definitely coming to an end. It's a massive burden. Yep. Somebody here does not want the drama, but... 10, you know, what do you do? Take five from 10 is what? Still five of wands, right? It, there's going to be drama. Yeah. And something's going to be very, very public. But you are going to heal, Aquarius. You are going to get the truth. You are getting the news. You are getting the truth. Could be from a Pisces. That is no longer your friend. Or who's also not sorry. So you could be dealing with another Aquarius, or this is you. Um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. You will get the truth though. It's coming. Or Pisces is what I got as well. Oh Lord. Okay. Also, you need to go check your mail and see if that it could even be the form of a letter. Go check your mail. <clears throat> wow. Let's see. One, oh, four, twenty five for Pisces. All right. Let's see. Let me get a shuffle. All right, Pisces. Let's see. What do you need to know right now, Pisces? What does Spirit want you to know right now? Spirit, what does Pisces need to know right now, please? Money. Okay, you got money coming. 
Okay, or maybe you need to save your money. What else does Pisces need to know? Yeah, lover. Okay. What else does Pisces need to know? Waiting. One more. You have service. waiting on service some type of service to come to your house maybe you're having something done to your house Pisces or waiting for service for a house or something a driver maybe but what I'm really getting here though Pisces is you have a lover that you're waiting on and they're telling you, as soon as I have the money, this lover is saying, wait for me. I'm going to come towards you and pick you up from your house. Or I'm going to come and see you at your house. You're waiting on somebody to either come do service at your house. But you also have a lover here saying, wait for me. I just have to have the money to be able to leave somebody. What else, please, for Pisces? Yeah, you're communicating with this person. A lover could be telling you that they're pregnant or you're telling a lover that you're pregnant. Waiting. Yeah, something's going to be a surprise to you. Tell me more. Yeah, reunion. You want somebody to come back towards you and have a reunion with you. Yeah, true house and cheerfulness. So you guys can have some type of celebration about a house. Maybe you're trying to buy a house with a lover, but they're telling you to wait for them hope and you're waiting and... You're waiting and hoping for communication from a lover. Okay. What else, please, for Pisces? Consistency. You want them to be consistent with you. Um, they could be selling you some type of bill of goods here. They're saying, wait for me. I'm going to come towards you, but they don't. Yeah, young woman. You could be this young woman, Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. You could also be this lover. Um, you're waiting for someone to come to your house to, and celebrate with you about buying a house. Or something about a house. This, this is somebody who is like, you want to reunite with somebody to help you out with something. But the merchant is somebody who's like a manipulator. Tell me more about this for Pisces. Tell me more. Okay. Yeah. You want someone to make an offer towards you with the sun here. Yeah. You feel like this person is, you feel like they were lying to you about making an offer just to keep you stuck. Or you feel like they're lying to you about waiting on money to come towards you. You feel like they're not being honest. Yeah, you feel like they're, they, they fill your head up with a lot of wishes, okay? But they're actually not being honest with you. They're actually quite, they're being defensive with you. They're not being honest. Yep, they're not being honest with the fox here. You feel like they're being shifty or shysty. You feel like they're not being honest with you about what their true intentions are or what they really want with you, if it's romantic. Um, you also feel like somebody isn't being honest. I'm not an attorney, but you feel like somebody isn't being honest about a contract here. Um, if you have some type of legal documents you need to sign, I would have it look once over by an attorney. Because something could be snuck in there at the last minute. Okay, especially regarding a house. Okay, what else please? This, okay, yeah, eight of swords. You are trapped up in your head right now. Not knowing what to do. This regard could also be regarding two eights. Eighty eight could be important to you. August eighth could have been important to you. Could be done with a Leo. You're trapped in your head about something regarding your work. Yeah, receiving some type of bad news about your work as well, or something's not going to work out the way you want it to. Yeah, your wish fulfillment here. You, you don't, you feel like it's not going to work out. 
You feel like somebody was selling you a bill of goods with the king of pentacles in the reverse. You feel like someone is also corrupt. And with the queen of pentacles here in the upright, you feel like someone is lying to you about work, lying to you about needing to have money to leave somebody to come towards you. This person could be married. And you feel like they're lying to you about coming towards you, Pisces. What's going to be a potential outcome about this, Spirit? Yeah, they're just, they're a very disloyal person. Yeah, they're not being honest with you about their leap of faith here. Yeah. You want them to come towards you. You feel like this person is a soulmate to you. Yeah, you feel like you want them to make a different decision. You want them to choose you with the Queen of Cups here. I'm two queens now. What else, please? Yeah, you want, you feel like this soulmate connection has betrayed you and stabbed you in the back and they're not choosing you. You didn't have the foresight to see something that this was just a love, like a fling thing. What else? Yeah, you, you, you want to rush in and tell somebody the truth and cause a fight so they break up so you guys can be together. Yep, so that you guys can be together. All right, well, I don't know how that's going to work, but, I mean, you know, it is what it is, right? You got Pisces here. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Cancer, Pisces. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, Leo, Scorpio. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Aries, Taurus, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. All right. Well, that has been all signs on what you need to know right now. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. <clears throat> also, look out for the other videos I'm going to be posting today. Also, don't forget, I have, I'm have i doing the personal readings tomorrow for Soulmate Saturday. Um, I believe it starts at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's one question for $20 and it's two questions for $35. So hopefully you will join us then. And if you have any questions, bring those with you. And yeah, I love you guys. Um, please take care of yourself till next time.